Talk about the style, your style. Um, our style is we sell things from the 1940s through the 1980s. Um, I'm starting to get into a little of the 1990s, but I think I'm a little too old to appreciate that style. Some of the younger girls are really loving the 90s things. Um, Slinky Whistle Bait has been around for about seven and a half years now, and um, we're on Etsy, and we've got a little bit of everything. Some, a lot of bohemian looks, um, mods, really popular for us. I like and taking notes. We try to take, we try to take things that are happening in fashion um, in the high-end fashion world and translate them into lower prices vintage things that people can actually afford. Now tell me about the name, Slinky Whistlebait. Oh, that's a great story. So our grandfather, who just passed away this last year, Adrian Barding, he, um, one time my sister and I were home for a family wedding, and we came out of the bedroom dressed up, and he said, you girls look like Slinky Whistlebait. And we said, what? What are you talking about? And we were about to open our store, and we had been tossing around all these stupid names, and we couldn't come up with anything. And the minute he said that, we didn't know what it meant, but we said, that's the name of our store. And then we had our grandmother explain. She said, don't you know, that's what he used to call all the cute girls, and he was stationed in Guam during World War II, and him and all the other guys.